Now we're going to do golden stuff. Or not golden stuff. I might my mind is getting a bit scrunched up. We're going to do variegated plants. And this is a very, very easy plant. It's a dogwood. And it's far more elegant than its name. It's the uh, it's called uh, Cornus alba. And uh, it will grow basically anywhere once it's not overhung with trees. It will grow even in water. Now it, it's it's got everything. It has lovely foliage and it has a very nice darkish stem and great contrast. Um, the way you're supposed to, in, in as much as you're supposed to do anything in gardening, you, the way you're supposed to deal with that is every second year or so you're meant to cut it to the ground and start it off again. Now I didn't bother and it's got a little unruly but I don't know it's still nice so when it loses its leaf this year in about two months time I'd have to decide will I bite the bullet and cut it to the ground or will I bother and I, I see you can see inside it and I just don't know what to do. I probably will cut it to the ground. It reacts very quickly. If you cut that to the ground, within about two months, it's up, it's three or four feet tall again. So it reacts very well to being cut hard. But I don't know, I like it the way it is there. So that's the great thing about gardening. Will I, will I, will I not, will I not? And here we have a variegated Wygelia. Wygelia something, something, something variegata. This is a good plant, a really good plant. You know when you've been growing plants for a long time, there's plants that you can that are good in certain situations, so other ones good in other situations, ones you can take take them or leave them. This is a good plant. And uh, it's not so popular now, but it was very common years ago, and a lot of people, really good gardeners may turn their nose up at variegated Wygelia. I think it's one of the top very variegated shrubs that there is. It has very nice pink flowers in the spring as well. But its overall shape and just everything about it, it's very easy to grow, it never gives any trouble. So if you want to just get one variegated shrub, it would be hard to go wrong with a variegated Wygelia. Um, this is a, a little, uh, well not a little plant, it's grown quite big. And it's a funny thing about you buy plants, it says, if you buy a plant and it says in the lab it'll grow to a metre, which is three foot, it'll generally grow to about six foot. So they always understate uh, the heights and the widths on when you're buying a plant because people are afraid, oh, it's going to take off my garden. So you, you always, it's only a guideline. But anyway, this is called uh, Physocarpus Little Devil because there's also one called Diablo, the normal one. And it has a little, it has, it's a member of the rose family and it, it seems to flare, it's not supposed to flare in the autumn, but it seems to flare in the autumn and the light pink flares, it's good contrast. And I, you forget why you put things in certain places, but it was probably put there to, uh, to contrast with the Wygelia. And then, this was put beside it. This is the Arizona Cypress. Now, I'm not that mad about a lot of conifers that give uh, trouble. This is a, a particularly good silver uh, conifer. It's called Cupressus arizonica, the Arizona cypress, and it's worth having. And once again, as I said earlier on, if it has silver foliage, it tends to like a dry situation. And other than that, it's easy to grow. It can be clipped into a shape as well. And it has amazing, has an amazing uh, aromatic smell. We don't have smell of vision. 